F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? It's showtime, folks. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend requests, reviews, with friend requests, friends to watch. Better call so. Season four, episode seven, titled "Something Stupid." Hmm. Last hmm. time it was something beautiful. Now it's something stupid. What that stupid mm-hmm. is and what it may be, you about to find out. So, how you feel going into this next episode for me? Well, Mama always says, "Stupid is a stupid does." So, <laughs> 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 nah, I feel good, man. You already know we we just came off of episode six. When we coming back to back, I'm always super juiced. Don't got too much to say except that I'm ready to see some more. Obviously, um. Worried about Jimmy and Kimmy's whole situation, and I already threw Kai on the chopping block, so I'm ready to see that as well. Mm. <laughs> so, besides that, man, I'm ready for you. Let's get it. Well, we're not gonna hold you here any longer. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Okay, the goal is 10k. Only way we're gonna get this if you click that button and also click that bell so you get notified when we. Go live. Let's get it. Let's go. Kai, we're coming for you. Mm. Are you still in the teleport, yo? Kai. Oh, no, it says you left. I see it. We coming for you. I'm thinking they're going to show another scene. How about this, man? Here. King of the Prediction on his challenge. What is this? So you can get some points. Brushing their teeth, like. Listen, because you lost points last episode. I ain't going to tell you in what, but you How, lost points. Man. I ain't just, lose nothing. All right. You don't lose points when you become a king. You just stay king forever. <laughs> yep. Yep. That drink was like, man, why are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> My own drink tried to dethrone me. I know I stand in line until they pour He gonna kill it again. Hey, you every day now? Hey, you're part of the crew now. Bruh, you feel me? <laughs> Damn. Don't eat together no more. Like okay, broken. <laughs> I'm about to say, like, they got them. They showing deterioration. <laughs> Man, get that damn cast off. Bless. It's about time, right? I know she had one. Mm-hmm. Right, only one cup of OJ. Oh boy, Huel out here doing God's mm, work. He had the call saw business card, and it was in yellow and red too. Looked like he already got his color. Hey Vince. Hey Peter. Hey Dave. Ask yourself. <laughs> hey, I love you guys, man. I love you guys, man. You guys are the best. They went from showing them, showing them doing everything together to showing them doing everything alone, separate. Now remove the damn black line. Mm. Season four intros are definitely on point. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, Picture a reception desk right here. Mm. Right? Wow. Always nice to be greeted by a friendly face. Oh, now over the bathroom. Is he actually talking to Kim right now? Cute. (laughs) Don't seem like Uh, it. This is for the partner. Corner office. Lots of natural light. And that's great for your circadian rhythms. Uh, What do you think? So no more sales. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a lawyer, this would be a great place, right? Well, I ain't no lawyer, man. If I was a lawyer, nope. <laughs> <laughs> big glass high rise. You feel me? Fortieth floor. Mm. Big glass high rise. Be real. <laughs> nope. Este es verde. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Es I was like, okay, they speak in Spanish? Who are they talking to? Mmm, he already on his click. Mm. Sorry, I'll take care of that. He want to see her bend over? Está bien, Hector. He's... Solo un espasmo muscular, okay? You know, his perverted old man shit. <laughs> Trying to make sure his under half still work. <laughs> no, sir. No. Yeah. Sorry, Hector. Yeah. <laughs> Don't work. <laughs> you ain't pitching no tents today or ever again, bro. <laughs> no. Muy bien. He not. He worried about yes, his blood not flowing to places yes, that he yes. wants them to go. <laughs> he trying to be like the Alpha Tower. <laughs> Man. Straight up. Anyone in particular you want me to talk to or not talk to? <laughs> talk to anyone. Oh, he going to a dinner party? Company? Hey, company party? Hey, Say hey, word. Hey, hey, hey. Look at He look nervous as hell. He do. School Korski wanted to talk to you too, bro. Hi, this is Jimmy McGill. <laughs> Swipe card. It's a Korski. Nah, it's a Korski for now. Hi. That showmanship. Oh, mm -hmm. here it is. This is for us. Debbie, one for you. Hey, he really hey, grabbed the whole plate for that. There, one for Viola. Hey, hey one Viola. For Lewis, because he skipped lunch to work. Mm. <laughs> that man, Jimmy, is he's mm. just the best. He's the best at being a people person. He really is. Though. But if you if you let him a little bit too much of your life, though, he might ruin it. <laughs> Completely burnt down to the ground. But at least you'll enjoy his presence <laughs> while it's happening. <laughs> and you might not even know he was the cause. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why are you way more tighter on this one, huh? Yeah, he doing it right, right? He yeah. doing it heel to toe. Mm -hmm. Let's see, look at the work she really want to do. Mm, that was the girl that she went to the house to get, right? I'm not sure. It could be. No, absolutely. Kim, oh, Kim looking good this in might that not dress. Be good, though. I heard Packer Kilber is taking them. Killing it. It might not be good if they bring up Chuck, though. So that's one thing. Mm. You might want to be careful with that. Oh, we're just Let's talking see. about company retreats. No, it's a great idea. Where are we going? <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> Employees only. Mm. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is splurging a little this year. Oh, okay. You know, don't want to be outdone by the competition. Well, it's tell you right. Mm. Yes. Mm, okay. mm. Tell you right, huh? It, well, I, it's, it's worth considering. <laughs> uh, two words: client development. They see it's all the you so. out there cutting the nah, powder for real, though. He... matching Schweikert and Coakley partners. <laughs> well, you're going to make an impression. You certainly don't think small. <laughs> he definitely doesn't. <laughs> Shit. You know what? Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <coughs> Yo. He had to go there, oh, didn't he? Oh, my God. Bro, he really did, though. <laughs> Aspen is like a nine-hour bus ride. Take a plane, then, motherfucker. Talking about splurging, right? But What's that I hear? You feel me? <laughs> I'm a private charter jet. <laughs> exactly, though. Transporting 56 distinguished attorneys to their amazing destination, Aspen. Look at everybody loving him, too. They are. Except for this motherfucker. <laughs> But that's because he see the game. Mm -hmm. He's smart. That dude is... I like that dude, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, that was awkward. The, yeah, the strain, man. The strain is of the relationship that we keep talking about. It's finally starting to kick in. He sung the song you right, you right, Violet. And Kai's still around, man. We're a I mean, what, stay for many a day. What's with this Kai thing? Just, <laughs> they said his name, bro. Right? That means too much to me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't just say extras' names. There's like ten people, and Kai's the only one who got named. Okay, like, true. Come on, true. man. I, I I see your thought process. Uh, <laughs> hey, look at the workers. They're already here. The illegals. Nah, for real though. <laughs> How you know they illegal, the bruh? Well, there was... Oh, my God. I'm about to say... Didn't not because... I mean, was all of them confirmed to be illegal? So I feel like he might have a mix in there, maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Point is, bro, like, don't be calling people illegals. All right. That's... <laughs> I, was no, an, I was an illegal. 
Facts. Mmm, they got a lot done. Spend some time, man. Bro, that's the whole thing dug out already. Yeah. They just gotta. What? Pour the concrete. Yeah, yeah, the concrete and all that. Which is loss of. Loss of. Value. As Gus's doctor. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this all sounds quite positive. You know the question that I will ask. Is it him? Is it the Hector Salamanca you knew? Hmm. I think if you see the evidence, you'll be very encouraged. Facts. You walk in there, he probably going to spaz. He might try to stand up. Hmm. That same exchange would have taken four times as long a month ago. And a month before that, mm. he couldn't respond at all. There we go. Mm, he's been up for oh, two months. His vital signs have improved. There we go. Mm. Yep, that's the Don Hector you know. Before. This the proof. The cup. That is the <laughs> man you know. That was likely an involuntary movement. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's your question answered, Gus. Philosophical or not? <laughs> see the lip movement? Yep, he trying to see that ass. <laughs> He's happy, yep. This is him. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was purposeful? <laughs> his heart racing. He was trying to get that blood pumping. Hey, like, shit. You've done magnificent work. Magnificent. Oh, thank you. His recovery has been remarkable. And my gratitude to you is beyond words. Hmm. Are you sure? Hector's progress is very promising. Nah, that's where he wants to keep With sustained intensive care, he may eventually learn how to talk and even walk again. Wow. That's sick. Look at that look. Perhaps we should temper our expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way this dude talks, man. I need to up my vocabulary. I would never even think to say temper. I say control our expectations when I be talking. Or manage. That's what I be saying when I be on the phone with my clients. Let's manage expectations. I'm going to say temper the next time. <laughs> now, how big a pop are we talking about? Nine, 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 pass back, pass! Here we go. Oh, they fucking up. Hey, Asho. To be here, I need a horse, Maka. Hmm. Okay, maybe the crew gonna whoop Kai's ass. Mmm. With a name like Ermin Trout, I thought you might have known a little son son. <laughs> They've been thugging it for what, two plus months? It could take a toll. <laughs> Not being well, able to does, see the outside? Will. Hell exactly. yeah. Exactly. Not being able to go home, being around the same dudes every single day. Yeah. Y'all only got four bedrooms total. So y'all got roommates? Yeah. Saul Goodman? Uh, that's right, officer. Hmm. <laughs> you, uh, you want to know where I got it? Snipped your ass out quick. What my customers do with the phones after they leave my possession, that's their business. Facts. Not everybody who buys the phones a drug dealer. Right? I'm asking nicely, okay? Mm. And I respectfully decline. You about to whoop your ass up. You're gonna go this way, huh? There it is. There's nobody out there watching you, Jimmy. Come on. I'm going back to make my move. Oh, they have to... <laughs> oh, shit. He about to snuff this dude. Oh! He's <laughs> 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 <It's> a cop. <laughs> <laughs> bopped him with the bag of sandwiches. For real. <laughs> it really was just a little bop. Sir. Oh, he knew all right. How? Exactly. I picked him up three years ago. Oh, I knew it. Really? Yeah. Pickpocket. How? I was wrong. I'll move. Were you now? Yes. And you know what else? I'll you move. will not see me out here selling yep. my phones ever again. Man. Not you, man. <laughs> Is this the way to Mexico? I'm just saying. When in kindergarten, the whole class has a nice little rest. Uh, nap time. Nap time. Mm -hmm. Nap time. Yeah. I remember okay. those times. Great times. Now say mittag schläfchen. Rest. Mittag. Mittag schläfchen. Mittag schläfchen. Mittag schläfchen. Mittag schläfchen. Okay. Lager. Mittag schläfchen is for alte Säcke wie euch. Mmm. And sein Deutsch.
Yeah, he finna get smacked. Sounds stupid. I can't wait. Emmentrout in German, it comes from nice. two words. Let's hear it. World plus strength. Mmm, mm, damn. Yeah. He's the world boss. He a fucking world boss. I can't believe it. What would happen if we sent Kai back to Germany? Hmm. Yes. But we need young people to do this work. Mm. Well, maybe you and I will do it. <laughs> exactly. He got a point there. Nah, facts. They thought they were I love going it. to be here for eight months. This is and what you call good dialogue, they people. You can see we're not even halfway done. You heard how many months, right? Yeah, he said eight. Yep. You understand? R and R. There we go. Mm. The double law. F double law. Yes. F double law. Relaxation. Give him a vacation. <laughs> this yes, is what they need. R and R. Hell yeah. That puts it way more into perspective. Yes. Eight months. Everybody needs a little F double R in their life. PD didn't make it sound promising. Mm. <laughs> Guys, he's just a burnout. He's trying to soften you up for an easy deal. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm a bounce. <laughs> he's real. I got places I can go. Man. And no, uh, no, that's not a good idea. Why not? Better than going in. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, they're going to catch up with you. He didn't get D.B. Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. And where's Kim? Why is Kim not Hugh's freaking PD? Why don't you give me a shot at this? I, I think I can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. How you gonna do that? You ain't even a lawyer. Hmm. A lawyer. I'm a magic man. Do you have a little faith in me? He'll really just act the way he act, though. <laughs> I and what him. I mean by that is if you watch his stand-ups, then you will see what I mean. Like, <laughs> that's just, that's it's really him. just him. Yeah, like, it yeah, is. Like. <laughs> You've been selling drop phones on the street? Uh, the I, truth is out. I just, Man, yep. You could, it uh, is definitely out. And that's all she heard. <laughs> <laughs> we get him smelling like a distillery, and we piss him off in court. Damn. He said engineer a stump. What? Hey. How? That's that showmanship, man. Don't ask how. Just watch it happen. <laughs> uh, what's our first move? You get I'm out. I'm not tearing down a cop. Mm. That's okay. Thanks, Kim. This I really appreciate it. Okay. Mm. Bye. I got it. Oh, who's this? Hope that wasn't a bribe. Wow, that would be one oh sad Oh my god, bribe. did we lose Petty with a prior? <laughs> salary. Do you have a minute to discuss a case? Is this Kim's Petty with a prior? Babino, really? Doesn't seem like your kind of client. I disagree. Pickpocket with a rap sheet attacks a cop in broad daylight? That's a misunderstanding. Uh, well, I would not call it an attack. For real, he could have... He could have choked his ass out. But Babineau didn't recognize him. He, he didn't even know he was a cop. Mm. The guy drove an unmarked car. He was in plain clothes. He, he had his back turned. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. Brezovich, no jail time, two months probation. No priors. Brezovich broke a cop's nose. Mm. This is unequal justice. You go to the hospital for that. In this case, the officer was not injured at all. He was hit with a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> How can you justify giving Babineau 18 months? Plus a year. He has no Plus history of violence. Yeah. There is no negotiation here, Kim. And our only witness is a scumbag, disbarred lawyer who mm. peddles drop phones to criminals. How are you going to take that, Kim? That's your man she's talking about. That's your man, and you stand by him. Mm. You stand by that man. I'll see you in court. Does that mean what I think it means? He's going to call you after I talk to him, and you and I have to be on the same page. Huel can't run. Mm. He's going to have to put on his big boy pants and go to jail. Oh, shit. At least for a little while. Me. He can't jump bail. <laughs> You'll back me up, right? I mean, I'll try. What the hell can I do to Huel? I get beat up by teenagers. Like, <laughs> like... You're going to tell him to stay put? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll tell you him. do your thing, I'll do mine. Mm. Jimmy, come on, what does that mean? Exactly. <laughs> Don't worry. 
<laughs> Come on, man. You can't say shit like that. First he said legitimately. Now he talk about you do you, I do me. <laughs> Come on, man. People already opening Kim's eyes with them little lines. Disbarred lawyers peddling cell phones to criminals. Scumbag. Mm-hmm. That shit hit her. She like, damn, is that who I'm dealing with? Mm. That's her man. She better stand by. Okay, hit the Yui. Damn, that was a clean Yui. Yeah, school supplies? Yes. She about to make a star chart for fucking Jimmy because he need one. Every time he do good, get a little star so he can start acting right. Cause what the hell? Jimmy, whatever you're doing, don't. Mm. Yeah, I know, but listen. I have a better way. You still got to slip or you're not going to... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, man. I haven't felt like that in a while. Like, <laughs> just relax. Let the fucking episode play. Like, I... There we have it. Episode 7 in the books. I'm just hoping I ain't say something stupid while we were doing this reaction. Because, man... Had some gems here. <laughs> they had some I'm gems. Terrible with time in the BB universe. Oh. I was all over the place. I was For like, real? wait, two weeks? Two, wait, months. No, two days? A day. Two months? A couple A hours. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, the BB universe be fucking me up and I'll be <laughs> they'll give me the answer and I'll still forget it <laughs> the next scene. Like <laughs> Yeah, man. It was a it was a it was a dope episode though. I, I really like what they you know, what they playing around with in the, in this episode, especially how it you know, they had that little build up towards the end right there with Kim, you know, setting mm -hmm. up what, what what's to come. So, uh, what's your thoughts on this episode? I liked it. It was um, definitely another, you know, a little bit more of a setup episode, at least the way I felt. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. There was, um, I think the, the, the thing I probably liked the most about it, even though <laughs> it's the thing that messes me up so much, is the time. Like, it, it was a good way to kind of show us the way the time, like, how much time actually did advance. Because, mm -hmm. again, BB Universe, it, it messes me up with the time all the time. Like, you always have to pay attention to the little small things to really kind of figure out, like, how far we moving forward. I feel like this episode probably was the most concrete in your face. Like, yo, this is how much time passed. Yeah. Like, they actually said how many months went by. Um, but I do like how they did that because I feel like, we're what episode seven so about three episodes left into the season and then it's season five and six and six is the last season so i'm glad that we kind of pushed up a little bit because we're we're almost at the end of jimmy's probation now yep so i feel like we do need to kind of start getting into some more of that sawness that we know from breaking bad um so i do like that like eight month jump cool let's get it um obviously what i didn't like was Again, the deterioration of the relationship, which it continues to look like, you know, their relationship just is just not it's not in the best of places. They don't really see eye to eye all the time anymore or pretty much at all at this point. Like and um, yeah, there's a lot of just secrecies here and there and things like that. And Jimmy just not really feeling fitting in. Maybe he's feeling inadequate or something right now. Like, but, you know, it's just not working out. And. I feel like both him and Kemi are starting to see signs of that. Like, for example, when she brought him to the to the party, you know, and he was going <laughs> off on his all the way up to Aspen spill, like, you know, and she's looking at her boss's face like, man, like, this is what it is. It's my man. Like, or, or hearing that the uh, the DA or, or whatever she was, the prosecutor freaking, you know, actually word out what jimmy is right now you know like and i'm, I'm starting to see that it's, it's, it's definitely affecting her it's definitely affecting her and jimmy's just not picking up on it like he, he's i mean but he's doing his own thing that's why you know that's why i like the writing man because they say little things and i feel like as viewers we could pick it up and, and choose to decipher it the way we decipher it like so when he said you know you'll do you i'll do me kind of thing like that's that's his mindset at all times you know i feel like so i think that was a perfect line because it was relevant to the the scenario or the situation at hand but i also feel like it's relevant to just 
fucking Jimmy's life, period. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all, it's always y'all do you, I'll do me kind of thing, and I'm going to get to the end goal. That's all that matters. Like, So they, they definitely been playing with some things. Um, so obviously Jimmy can be still top of mind for me. Um, and then what they were doing with the Germans, I don't got too much to say about that. Uh, you know, they, they're working, they're doing what they do. Uh, the R and R shit and stuff like that. Agree a hundred percent. Um, especially now knowing that they've been down there for eight months. Like at the end of the day, they got TV, they got beer and stuff like that. But that's jail, bro. <laughs> they in jail Basically. right now, bro. Because jail pres- inmates get recreational. They get TV as well, and some of them even get alcohol and drugs. So these fools are in jail right now. Um actually probably worse than jail because they can't even call back home to their family they phone only goes to mike and the boys like so they I, I agree i do think they need some time off some some r&r something to just get the morale back up because mm-hmm. that's one hell of a job but at the same time we know that you know it could be argued that they signed up for that and if they just you know do the time that they supposed to because what they they was trying to crack it in under a year it was supposed to be seven they? seven eight months Seven to eight months? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... They, are, they know, already they just, passed it. Yeah, they did. They definitely passed it. And then now even more because they knocked that damn post down. Yep. So, like, I do I do say that we could argue, like, if they just kind of got down there and did what it did, it will be whatever because they would be home right now, technically. Um, but, yeah, I think right now they might need a little bit of a, of a breather, a little bit of some room to, to figure this out because at the end of the day, like Mike said, Gus ain't really worried about the timing. He's more so worried about that it's done right because that's what's important that's mm-hmm. when you don't got to bring these motherfuckers back to, exactly. to fix it if anything goes wrong um so i do kind of like that but i see again kai is easy on that chopping block they talking about sending that man home but apparently he's the best demolitionist he has but if he's talking about all they got to do is blast one more thing i don't know you know i, I don't i don't do construction none of that so i don't mm-hmm. know it's just 100 percent out of my field but um if all they got to do is blast one more thing, why don't they just make Kai blast it and then send his ass home? Because I don't know what else demolition work they would have to do outside of that. Yeah. So, you know, I, I still think Kai going to get smacked, though, because he, he's, he's been talking too much. And even his own co-workers was, was ready to press up on him. So, you know, we didn't get it this episode, but we still got a couple more episodes in this season to see Kai get made an example of. You know, I'm yep. still keeping that out there. <laughs> I'm okay. keeping it out there, man. Uh, and then what else was kind of fun with this episode? Obviously, the heel situation. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine getting smacked with a bag of sandwiches to the point where you fall to the ground? Like, that man had to flop. <laughs> I mean, I get it. He got caught, you know, from behind. So it was kind of yeah, uh, not a no, surprise. Yeah. But come on, man. If that was that nice, soft Dutch crunch roll... Ain't no way that shit knocked that man. <laughs> but I thought it was a pretty funny situation because it was like... As it was leading up to it, it, it was like I kind of felt it happening. I'm just like, oh, shit. He was about to go and try to protect Jimmy because look what he just had to do with the pinata stuff, you know? So he's mm. already, like, on high alert of, of Jimmy potentially being robbed or whatever. So I, th- I think that was a, a funny scene, an enjoyable scene. And um, I don't know what the trajectory of the case is going to do, though. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about because that's basically where they kind of ended this episode with is that kim is telling jimmy not to do what he's gonna try to do to get huel out of it and that she got it handled but at the same time she is not interested in doing any of the slipping schemes because you know the guilt with chuck yeah her doing pd stuff not trying to ruin anybody's lives or lives and stuff and she already said i'm not trying to ruin the cop's life so you know i'm kind of interested on what this huel case might actually do even more to to jim and kim's relationship which is already not doing so great so yeah, man. They, there's a lot. Of, they they playing. They playing, man. They playing. It was did I miss something? Oh, hell yeah, I missed something. Hold on. I was, I was and then of course yep. we gotta get to my boy Hector, man. We gotta get to the Salamanca. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so this one was cool. Um, I don't really know how long he's been awake. I don't really care neither. I know it's at least been more than two months though, because she said a month ago he was doing this, and then a month before that he was literally unresponsive at all. Yep. So. He's been up for at least two plus months with the doctor, working with Gus's doctor. Um, mm, now this this was fire. I'm gonna I'm get this real comedic shit out real quick. I love the little scene where he 
you know, knocked the cup. I thought that was really funny and interesting. You know, trying to get his blood boiling, making sure he still got it. <laughs> but uh, let's fast forward to the scene where Gus is watching the video. Now, this was really, really sick, bro, because the doctor tells him, like, yo, with enough work, he might actually be able to talk and walk again. But Gus, like, nah, like, you know, let's temper our expectations. You know what I'm saying? Because... I don't want this man to walk and talk <laughs> at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. Yep. We're going to keep him alive, though. And I'm going to keep him in my eyesight, in my visions, and in my care, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. But we ain't going to get this man to the point where he could walk and talk again, especially after confirming that he knows that that's the Hector who who who, who he remembers. Because I, I, I assume that that whole question was, you know, about having a stroke, potential you know, brain damage and things that could affect memories, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But I believe him seeing him do the little perverted little, let me drop this cup so I can look at your ass and titties while you bend over, uh, confirmed it for him. So now that he knows that is his Hector, he can keep him right there. And it's crazy because we were just talking about how much colder Gus is in BCS compared to BB. And then we get this scene right here. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, they 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 yep. playing, man. Season four is lit, man. They having some fun. They really are, man. Gus is this is the coldest he's ever been. That line right there, and then that look he gave into the camera, like let's temper our expectations, it was a perfect <laughs> line. I really do think it's a perfect line, and I, I I can't say it enough. The writers are doing a phenomenal job in this season. This yeah. season, for sure, the writers are hammering it down. But, uh, but no, I agree. I think the writing was phenomenal, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was this episode. I don't know if it's from having a reaction channel to where maybe we just pay attention to this shit a lot more than what we used to because yeah. I feel like I never, like, when people ask me about shows and movies, I never talk about writing and stuff, like, but I'm noticing, like, damn, son, like, these motherfuckers poetic with it, bro. Like, I, think, like, I think that's what it is. Having a channel really changes how you view things because when we view things when we're not really you know, hyper-focused, kind of how we are right now, things can slip easily. You feel me? Yeah. And with a show like mm -hmm. this, if you let things slip by and you continuously let things slip by, you can miss a lot. So Exactly. Yeah, man. Exactly. They, yeah. It's definitely because we got a channel. But, you know, also got the commenters, too. You know, they, they help a lot. A lot. The insights are beautiful. Yeah, man. So, uh... If you had to score this episode, what would you score it? This one was fun. This one was fun. But I think I'm going to sit this right there on that eight. Um, it was solid, though. It was still good. I had a great time, but I think it was eight. Nothing really razzle-dazzle for me. I mean, nah, the writing was cracked, though. Like, uh, But the writing's always crack. Yeah. They did a eight. lot of great things. Let me just... Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it an eight because <laughs> I'm gonna start. <laughs> I agree with you. Eight, eight is where it's at. It's a, it's a solid episode, and like I said, the build up because that next episode, I already know what we're about to get into. Man. Oh, we're gonna be on the finale tomorrow. We recording. Oh, yeah. listen, listen. It's the goal is to record four episodes tomorrow, so we're gonna be in season five tomorrow. I'm hype, so I can't wait, yeah. man. So we appreciate each and every single one of y'all if y'all still here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. We love y'all, man. But don't forget, if you haven't already, comment down below. Let us know what we miss in this episode. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. FWR out. Peace.